Hello everyone, the Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology here. Today we're looking at the Nook tablet, 8 gigabyte version. You know, anything for the 8 gigabyte will work also on 16 gigabyte. And uh, today we're going to do a restore of a previous system backup that I had done using Clockwork Mod. Now, uh, in this case, the Clockwork Mod is installed on a micro SD card on a small SD card. Uh, mine is a 256 meg. Very, very small, but you only need about 50 megs to, to do it. So anything that you've got will be fine. And so today we're going to use Clockwork Mod to, uh, you, you'd use the same process to back up, but I've already backed up and I'm going to restore this time. So uh, we hold the Nook button and the Power button and it will boot to the recovery on the uh, and uh, on the SD card, and there it is. Once you see that little box, you know you're in recovery. Uh, this is recovery mode. So we're coming up on recovery mode. And once that happens, it'll come up on landscape. You'll see the menu there. Now, at that point, you can remove the SD card. Now, you could go into the mounts and uh, storage and unmount the SD card, but since it is not writing to the SD card, you won't have a problem taking it out. Uh, that's not a, normally a good process because usually the device is going to be writing to the to the uh, SD card and you would want to finish those writes before you have uh, changed the card. But I'm going to uh, put back the card that has my restore uh, on it and we're going to uh, now go to backup and restore. And in this case we're going to restore and to press restore and uh, it had problems with the SD card. Sometimes you have to reset the SD card a couple of times to get it to set right. Uh, it won't always recognize an SD card. People have a lot of problems with the boot SD cards, but mostly that's because they have, uh, have not created the boot card correctly. Okay, here we go. Now, it found my uh, backups, and I have one for stock and one for ICS or ice cream sandwich, and we're going to restore the ice cream sandwich. You say, well, okay, well, how much are you restoring? And so we will get this started while I talk. Okay, and it gives me a chance to check it, and yes. Okay, so it's doing its restore thing now, so you can watch that work while we talk. And... Uh, so you say, okay, how much are you restoring? Well, in this case, I'm going to restore the entire device. I mean, everything that was on the device when I made the backup. And these uh, backups are stored on the SD card under the Clockwork Mod folder. And uh, there's Clockwork Mod, and then there's a backup, and then there, the files are listed. And normally, they're listed with the date and the time and seconds and microseconds and whatever. Uh, in this case, I've gone in and renamed them because it makes more sense to me to see a name than that date. So uh, I've renamed them. And uh, so it's still backing up. It's not doing very much very fast. It takes a while for a backup to occur. But once it backs up, it will back up everything that was on the device, all the settings, all the everything. You don't have to clear the uh, cache. You don't have to do anything. It just goes back exactly the way it was uh, when you uh, did the, re the backup. So a restore will restore you to exactly where you were. And you can see it's working. And it takes a while. I think it takes about five minutes. So uh, more things about the NT while we're talking. Uh, again, be sure that if you have an 8 gigabyte uh, NT, that you do not install ROMs or whatever that were intended exclusively for the 16 gigabyte. If you do, it will brick your device. And if you brick your device, then... Uh, you really have a problem. If you've done that, there are uh, recovery uh, images and you can check our website and leave me a personal message and I'll help you uh, try to get back to straight. Mine was bricked doing just that and uh, I've been able to recover it. So I think we can recover just about anything that you have now. Uh, we've got a good tool now. Uh, thanks to uh, MegDot on the XDA uh, for, uh, forums. Well, uh, we're still restoring. It's restored this uh, boot image and the system, and now it's restoring the data. And uh, so it takes a while, but once it does, we will be able to take out the SD card and boot again, and it will boot into Ice Cream Sandwich with 
the setup already done. Also, when you're installing it, now this is not the same as installing a ROM, although we could have had another ROM entirely on here at this time, or we, we in this case, uh, you could have been in totally at stock. It will, uh, if you can get to the backup, you can back up and, and restore everything to whatever it was. So I could send you a copy of my backup, but the problem is not everything will be uh, set up correctly for you and uh, it would have my information on it and that wouldn't be right. And I think you might get confused, the devices might get confused with the serial numbers and with the registration, those kind of things. So you don't want to do that, but from your own device, anything that you back up, you can restore later on. And uh, there is an advanced option that will allow you to restore just parts of uh, restoration, but then you've got to know what you're doing and be sure that you restore things that are compatible with whatever you have on the device already. Okay, we're complete. So we're going to reboot the system now. And I don't have to take the card out, but I could. And it should boot up. There's Sienna Boot. Uh, which is the new version of uh, recovery, it's recovery and booting, boot uh, loader and all. But uh, when we come up, uh, there is the uh, CM9 logo for uh, the Cyanogen Mod 9 ice cream sandwich, ICS, which is the newest version of, of Android. And this should come up. There we go. Okay, we're already set up. And there's all of my configuration from the way it was the last time when I did the backup. Now it's still loading the widget. It even has my uh, Wi-Fi settings. They're already done. Everything's already taken care of. So it's ready to use. I can go right to uh, the web browser. And uh, it has all of my... Uh, there's some mail that I'm getting. <laughs> Email's already set up. Everything's working. And uh, so everything works. It's just real, real cool to do a backup. Okay, so you want to do a backup anytime that you have any change that you're going to do any change. Here's a good plan. If you want to change a ROM, go into Clockwork Mod, do a full backup of the existing setup and the existing ROM. Then uh, go into Clockwork, uh, turn it off, and go into Clockwork Mod, install or flash, now in this case, flash a new ROM that it was designed for your device. Make sure it's good for 8 or 16 if you have an 8. And once you flash that, that ROM, then if you go through setup and you set it up, then do a backup. Again, backup before, backup when you get it set up. Then you can switch between the two ROMs just by doing a restore of that that other ROM. You don't have to do anything else. Just do what just I did, just what I did just now. And uh, it takes about 10 minutes and you will have the other ROM. You can switch between the two. If you decide you don't want one, don't like it or whatever, you can switch to the other. All right. Well, that was uh, doing a restore of the Nook tablet 8 gigabyte version. Same plan would work exactly the same for the 16 gigabyte. Okay. And uh, links for all the the information is available on our website, raywaldo.com. See you there. All right, bye.